Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've been doing a bit of shopping. Uh, this is my advent calendar that has just arrived. So we'll have a little bit more of a look at that in a second. But I'll just show you my other bits first because that's quite a big box. So I've been out um, to another Christmassy type shop. Um, yeah, I seem to be going around an awful lot at the moment. And I've got these stickers. And I just thought you might like to see them. These are from um, the works. No, they're from Home Bargains, sorry. Um, oh, you can't see these very well, can you? Let me just put a piece of uh, white paper underneath. See if I can find another one. Okay, there you are. So, yeah, they were uh, in the craft section at Home Bargains. And I just thought they were really nice. They're like a diamond art sticker. Uh, it's, to be honest, something you could probably easily do yourself uh, if you've got any of your crystal gems left over and just use some of Craft Buddy's magic glue or a little bit of PVA glue, um, then you could just stick these drills onto uh, your cam canvas or a picture or whatever and make patterns similar to this. Uh, but yeah, I thought they were really nice. So we've got uh, six Christmas puddings and two baubles or balls and two candy canes. The candy canes are a little bit larger gems on them. We've got the six snowflakes, which are really, really pretty. They're lovely just to use as like an embellishment if you're making a card or if you've got a mirror, um, you know, to just put in corners of mirrors or just to add a little bit of decoration to something that you've already done. Snowflakes are excellent for like uh, little embellishments for things. And then we've just got three stockings and three presents. So I think they're a little bit, possibly at one ninety nine, a little bit on the high side, um, possibly for diamond painters, because we've probably got hundreds of these sort of gems left over. <laughs> I'll be, yeah, I've not seen those diamondy shaped ones before, these here in the middle there. So they're new diamond, they're new to me, they're like a, an offset square type diamond. So they're something to look out for because you tend to think, oh, you've seen most shapes uh, in diamond paintings. Oh, it's not wanting to focus now, that's better. It's this new phone. It obviously doesn't like the white. It doesn't mind the red, but it's not like in the uh, clear on the silver there. And then the other little thing I got, look, this is just a hand sanitizer, a little key ring. Um, just goes on your bag. It's just... Uh, can just pull it as tight or as uh, slack as you want hanging on your bag or just use it as a little handbag <laughs> but yeah i just thought oh this is so super i've got to have one of those you know i like my little daft bits and uh, yeah i thought rudolph just to go on my handbag because i do still use hand sanitizer a lot Um we're still having hospital appointments and things with hubby uh, and i do like to use it anyway as you're coming in and out of places and touching things just it's better to be on the safe side, shall we say. So that's just a little Rudolph hand sanitizer. I think that was only a couple of pounds as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, it just had to come home with me. What can I say? <laughs> um, there is a little bit of footage um, of the shop that I looked at. So I will put a little bit of extra footage. I hope you're not sick of seeing all the shopping that I'm doing at the moment. But uh, it's just... A little bit of extra fun uh, and it's memories for me as well because I keep forgetting where we've been and what we've done so if I video it I know. <laughs> okay so this is my advent calendar. Uh, sadly I've not got a diamond painting one this year. I missed out on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest's diamond painting uh, advent calendar and the cat eared one that I've seen last year and the year before I did get last year and I did like but I can't find one this year. They don't seem to have done one. Um, and I seem to have missed out on, well, Diamond Art Club, I think, brought one out and it sold out in seconds. Um, but whether I would have paid the postage for that to come to the UK, I don't know. Possibly. It does look very good. I have seen somebody unbox the whole thing and open the whole thing. Um, so maybe I would have got it if I'd have had a chance. Uh, and then I say I've not really seen anybody else's. So if you do see any diamond painting, I think, Helen, just let me know. Maybe a bit late for this year now, I don't know. But anyway, this is a Christmas crafting. I think it's more aimed at children. I think Advent calendars are really aimed more at children. But I like to have one. <laughs> so I thought I'd get this and I can maybe open it and do each little craft each day. 
I'm not sure whether I'm going to do uh, an unboxing every day, whether I'm going to do a video every day in December, because a lot of people did it last year. And I know there are a lot of really good creators out there. And I know you've got a lot of different choices and it can get um, a little bit overwhelming having so many to watch. I know I follow an awful lot of people. Um, I'd never unfollow anybody once I've started following them because I know how I feel when people unsubscribe to your channel and you think, oh no, I'm losing subscribers. Uh, so I always do try once I've subscribed to somebody to say, stay subscribed. Um, so yeah, at least, you know, it keeps their numbers and everything up. Uh, so I do know there is a lot of people to watch and it can get a little bit much sometimes. So I may do every other day in December. We'll have to see. Uh, let me know what you think. Would you like to still see a video a day or would you prefer a video every other day? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm just going to have a quick look at this because obviously I think it must be in like a cover or something. Because uh, obviously there's no numbers on it. So there must be numbers somewhere. So let me just see. Grab my... Uh, trusty scissors see if we can just have a look and get into this a little bit it was actually uh, i used a vipon coupon would you believe i've not used one of those for a while they've not had any coupons for a long time uh, if you remember earlier on uh, in the year i was getting a lot of diamond paintings from amazon using the vipon coupons um because you know there were some really good offers on uh, some of them you could get them as offers anyway but uh, yeah, Vipon seem to have them, but for whatever reason, the last few months, they've not had any diamond painting ones at all, but they had this one and they said that this is supposed to be 40-ish pounds and I got it for 11 99 which in the grand scheme of things, Advent calendars seem to be enormously expensive these days. Um, depending on what you get, you can still get your, like, your pound ones just with chocolates in. I say just with chocolate, oh, who doesn't like chocolate? But I do like to have ones that have a little bit extra in them these days. So, yeah, we've got uh, Millie Moo, our little Scottish terrier. She has an advent calendar too, with uh, all different things in it. So, let's see, what does this do? Does this lift up? Oh, this lifts up. Oh, it's on Velcro. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, I don't think I can get it on the table. Um, and we've got a Christmas card as well. Okay, let me just put it that way a second so you can maybe see a little bit more. You just move some bits out the way. Right, move my scissors. So we have Santa's workshop. I will put it this way. So I'll do it this way. So we've got like the window looking through Santa's workshop with Merry Christmas at the top. And we've got all the like the toy factory here. Look, everything's going in. Um, where's it coming from? Oh, it's coming out here, round on the conveyor belt, and then it's coming out wrapped. That's good. I could do with one of those. I'm sure everybody else has thought, oh, wrapping presents. And then this is the workshop at the bottom. Wow. So we've got some uh, different um, plans on the back there of how to make the toys. And we've got the little gnomes making the toys along with, oh, he's a lovely jolly Santa. Oh, look, it's reindeer Slippers. <laughs> Love it. They've even got the red noses on. We've got the sack of toys down here, little Christmas tree and a little wreath. So that is just, oh, it's lovely. It has a Christmas decoration on it. So that's super. So what does this say? Instructions manual. Oh, no, I don't want to look at this because this is going to, oh, no, I'm not looking at this. So I think this is going to, oh, yeah, it's going to have spoilers in it. As I say, each one, from what I remember from uh, when I ordered it, has got a different craft in every day so that you can make just little, like, decorations and things. So this is, oh, an instruction manual telling you how to make them all. And I don't want to look because it'll tell me what's in each one. We'll go through it as we go along. But that's quite nice. And that's a very jolly Santa on there as well. So yeah, I thought for eleven ninety nine uh, to get to do twenty four little activities is pretty good, and I do love the box. I think I'm going to have to open this really, really carefully, and then maybe put other things in it next year. Some of them look a little bit small. 
and some of them are a little bit big. There's a huge one here. Where's number one then? Where? We're, oh look, we're going to be starting on Santa. So, oh I see, they've all got like a little um, push in part so that you can then pull open the little thing. It looks as though it's set so that you can pull them off completely but I don't think I want to do that. I think I quite like this picture. Mm, okay yeah I'm not going to do like I've seen other people doing at the moment and open it all now and go through them all now because I want to open them on the 1st to the 24th of December so I get a little surprise every day and a little thing to make every day uh, along with all the hundred and other one, uh, 101 other things I've got to do <laughs> okay well, uh, just a quick little video. I'll put the little bits of uh, shopping at the end. Say it wasn't much. We just uh, went for a bit of a wander and saw a few little bits and pieces. And uh, I just thought you might like to have a look at those as well. And then, yeah, getting ready for the 1st of December. It's only a couple of weeks off now. So I thought I'd better get this before they all sell out. But I am impressed. I think for £12. I don't think I'd have paid £40 for it. But we'll see when we open each day. Uh, and see if we think it's worth it. I mean, at, what, £12, we're talking at 50 pence a day. Uh, so we'll see if each item is worth 50 pence. I think it will be. Uh, looking at the sneaky peak leaflet there, I think it looks uh, pretty good. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is much appreciated. Do you normally have an advent calendar or have you got kids that they get their own advent calendar anyway? <laughs> Oh, if you can do like uh, my little granddaughter did uh, a couple of years back and uh, she ate all the chocolate out of the back of her advent calendar. She realised that if she opened it at the back, she could get them all out with opening the door, without opening the doors at the front. So she sat in the back of the car and munched them all. Um, and then when she opened them on the 1st of December, there was nothing in it because she'd already eaten them all. <laughs> okay uh, as i say if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and if you want to come and join our little family and see what fun's happening over christmas i might be doing some extra little special things over christmas then if you press the subscribe button down in this corner and the old notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon Bye for now. Um, bargains. Wool. Crochet pumpkin. Uh, knit your own mittens. Oh, they're little latch hook kits. Go oh, tiny. Flowers, pumpkins. Uh, puppies. Got quite a nice little. Craft set, pumpkin kit, what's that do, a crochet and pumpkin, that's the same one. Gold foiling kit, make your own wreath, eight pads. Storage boxes, very nice. I like the snowballs, indoor snowballs. Snoop alarm. Stamps. Oh, make your own pom pom wreath, they're good. It's not down here then now. Yeah. <laughs> That's helpful. Lots of Christmas stuff. I like the little treat bag as well.